All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome welcome back to a actual debate today. We'll, we'll see how well this ends up going. Uh, so this is originally going to be a planned video discussion, but then uh, Kyle here was kind enough to take up the opposing side pretty, you know, effectively. So we're going to be... Effectively. <laughs> I was thrown in because Mangler bailed at the last minute. Let's, let's get this straight. Like I said, I'm going into this... I'm going into this so blind and underprepared like that it's said, not funny. He's perfectly prepared. Look at that profile picture. That is the profile picture of a man who's always ready to throw down. Now, so the scenario is as follows, uh, or at least the idea behind this is Yurizen's name is a nefarious usurper. So I thought to myself, hang on a minute. Could he have actually usurped the demon world if there were other demon kings around? Now, we are going to equalize this because technically years in DMC 5 would fucking literally flick his finger and kill the entirety of DMC prior to fucking 5. Uh, so, equalize stats. The original premise here is going to be Yurizen has the tree, he's going up to the human world, and Moondis is like, hey, I'm back, and I don't want you to do that, so we're going to fight now. <laughs> and that is the thrilling setup for this debate. <laughs> Uh, this debate will be broken up into three parts. It'll be the major minor demons, more like sort of the army situation, the generals, and then it'll be the demon kings themselves in the debate. Uh, we will be doing uh, matchups set up by Mangler. He is not here right now. He is here in spirit, no doubt. And yeah, uh, Kyle, anything you'd like to add to that before I fucking destroy you? They can ban us. <laughs> 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 It's time for a death battle! Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. Oh, that's good. Okay. Uh, this is not be edited in case you guys didn't know, I realize. Alright, so what's the first matchup so I don't have to open up our DMs? Hang on. Let, <laughs> let me check. Uh, hang on. I was gonna say now I kind of. I'm want getting to... there. <laughs> now I kind of want to check myself to make sure you're not lying to me. <laughs> oh my god, where the fuck did he put it? <laughs> Dude, I sent it to you in DMs, didn't I? Just go to your DMs. Did you? Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> See, this is why I wear the pants in the relationship. Okay, <laughs> <Dude>, fuck you. <laughs> I'll give you that moment <laughs> from um. <laughs> it's like the first of fucking many, I promise you. Uh, the first match is Death Scythe versus the Impuza Queen. State your case, Kyle. By all means, make my fucking day. You know what? You're the host. You Why piece not? of shit! All right, all right, let's get started. So let me tell you why the fucking Impusa Queen eats its fucking blood out of the dead side or dead way. Is it dead side or dead scissors? It's dead side, right? It's the scythe, not out the scissors. Out of the dead side, stupid fucking animal looking fucking skull. Very easy to understand. Number one, this fucking dumbass is going to lock himself in a cage with the biggest fucking minor demon in all of DMC. Don't quote me on that. Who has a wide range of attacks. There's no way in hell she's not going to hit the Wide fucking... range? What? Yes, they are wide range! You're trapping me in a fucking cubicle! Don't act like you're not! What wide range do you have? You literally do a belly flop dude, and you scratch at me. Dude, her scratches are wide orange. Have you seen those hitboxes? My bitch so, hit me from halfway across the room. So, so, Zim, so Zim, all I'm going to ask is... You do realize that the death scissors, that the death scythe, can exit its own barrier. Yes, I know. But however, I'm also aware the death scythe consistently appears close to its opponents in order to actually hit them. Apparently, in your playthrough. Ah, uh, well, you know what? You know what? If someone, if if the viewers disagree with that, they can post it in the comments down below. If enough people disagree with that assertion, we'll just give this one to you post like video, okay? Look, we can both agree that. The Apusa Queen, it's not smart. It's not, but it doesn't have to be for the fucking Hell Scissors. It has the big, in, it has a big enough size and enough durability to where I think you could probably kill the Hell Scythe or the Death so, Scythe. Do you know? Do you, do you know what the Death Scythe is though? What is it, Kyle? Smart. 
No, it's not, Kyle. It's so, Dante. So it will. It will literally. So you'll have, you'll have the Imposer Queen trying to scratch at it, as it just stands away and it flies extremely fast and hits it several times with the side. You're assuming the Queen's not it. going to fucking react to it when it closes in, or that's not going to jump out of the way to slam down on it. Um, it can try. It can try. Kyle! Kyle! This is yeah. not the fucking Fury where it dodges attacks! This is the fucking Hell Scythe! It's gonna be like. Oh, oh fucking yeah, Dead Scythe. Fuck. You know what I'm you, saying? You do realize that it's gonna be extremely hard for the Imposter to hit a very, very minute target. No, because so the problem is that the way it fights is it closes in, like going in forward, and only that. Yes, it's going and pretty the, fucking the big. Part, and the Death Scythe will literally just circle around. It can literally disappear into the ground yes. and into the room. Yes. And away the, from the barrier. Yes, but there is no, nothing there yeah. is nothing stopping there, there is nothing stop there is nothing stopping it from doing its ranged attack where it chucks both scythes at it and cuts it to ribbons. Yeah, but it's and not that it's not happen, a fucking that will, happen, <laughs> that will happen for a good five minutes. I can argue that Helen Pusa would just grab the skull and just fucking crush it. How? It doesn't have hands. That Ibusa continuously- IT GRABS NERO! WHAT DO YOU MEAN IT DOESN'T HAVE HANDS?! Yes, it grabs it like a fucking praying mantis. It will grab the fucking dead side what? skull and fucking crush it. Oh, or if that's not, assuming... it'll eat it. Zim, Zim, you're under the impression that it knows that's the weak point. It will literally be trying to grab its cape. Throughout the entirety of the fight, it is not smart enough to go after the skull. Its arms it's are big enough to where I can even argue it would grab the head uh, even if it hits it, it would be such a lucky shot that it could not be replicated. Kyle, I Kyle, I will art do Kyle, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Just so we understand each other here, let me get you a picture of what the fuck this thing's arms look like. I know what the what the Queen and Pooh. No, 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 like. no. I don't I don't think you do, Kyle. Her fucking arms are the size of the entire death scythe! You do know <laughs> what, Even you you're backing off what, a little bit there because you didn't realize they were that big. You do Watch know what thing. You do know what the death <laughs> side <laughs> looks like, right? Kyle, 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 your your argument crushes on the idea that this motherfucker's just gonna be running around in circles consistently and she's only gonna grab the cape, but that's not how it fights. Yes. It moves like it, it up it close. Does, like it does. Kyle, 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 are you like it? Like it like it does in gameplay. Is this is this, is this game? Kyle, dude. Kyle, dude. Hang on, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. You can also hit the side too, can't you? Zim. Kyle. Their capes are nothing more than illusions created by the I, evil spirit. I, I, all I, physical I attacks. I understand. All physical, all physical attacks. Now, hang on this word. All physical attacks. All. Kyle. Physical attacks. Kyle. Kyle. All. Do not quote the ancient text to me, Kyle! Kyle, okay. Kyle, Kyle, she will grab that fucking head and she will slam it to the ground. The second she does it, she's going to keep doing it. You also have to argue that the fucking thing is going to move around in every single jump. This is a pretty strong, pretty beefy creature. The Queen, the queen and Pooza is super slow, and I can argue that. But remember, all physical attacks are useless. Only against the cloak, though. But against the head, it's not, obviously. Correct, but what you're also on. What about the scythe, though? Or does it say anything about the scythe? Because I can just argue she disarmed the death scythe. Even when you do that in game, the scythe literally just flies back to it. Wait, but so you can do it? Oh, you can also block its ranged attacks, can't you, Kyle? Now, if only I knew a creature that had. No, no you can't. Not from not from what I've tried, no. Let me look it up real quick. Let me look it up on the wiki. <laughs> I'm not losing this first round. I'm right. <laughs> You're not getting this win. All you've got, and of course, all you, all you've got, is a big bug with a dump truck of an ass that tries <laughs> to jump on things. Kyle, and I've Kyle, got, Kyle. I've I think, I think you I've are. Got this I've got this Chad with a ram's head. No, that is no. Your Chad, your yep. Chad with the ram's head locks itself into a fucking room and tries to fight people in hand-to-hand -hand no, in direct combat. No, this problem. You're assuming that it's like a cage match where it traps itself in there. It doesn't. It can literally exit. Yes, I understand that. Its, its only attack is a ring. Hang on, can you, can you block it? Hang on. Let me see. 
if you can, send me the video. I want to try that. I see. Oh, okay. So the winner is Death Scythe. No, not yet. Okay, so so your entire argument then bases itself on the idea that Death Scythe will continuously just fucking fly out and just use range attacks, even though it seems to be against the way it fights in the game. <laughs> that might be on your playthrough, but that's exactly how it fought me. I spent more time shooting at it than trying to hit it with the sword. I'm just gonna say for the. I'm just gonna. Fine. Fine. I will give this one to you. I'm just saying that if it's close range, the Hell the Impusa Queen wins, but fine. If you're gonna argue for a ranged advantage, I guess I can't stop you since she can lock. Or that since it can lock you in place. Motherfucker. <laughs> Yahoo! Oh. Alright. Round two, motherfucker. What's the next one? <laughs> Oh, you're gonna love this one. It's so in your favor. The nobody versus the Lucina. Give me the nobody's description right fucking now. <laughs> I'm not taking this one down. <laughs> Fuck you. You don't get to. That's I'll put up the nobody's description with DMC five too. Fuck you. <laughs> Hang on. I'm trying to find it. Oh, they're shared in the same fucking wiki. Uh, God. Mm, fuck you. This is this is truly the most professional. We should have had Cyber fucking judge this one just for shits and giggles. <laughs> you know, since he's since he, he's really there for the professional stuff. Oh, uh, oh! I just I I found a good scan, but I want I want to see if I can find the one that shows what it does. Oh You're my god! There's so many fucking scans. Oh my god! Kyle, this is how you show up to every single debate. It's almost like you didn't prepare. Gee, it's almost like I was thrown in. I'm, pre I'm prepared. I know, it's crazy, right? Who would have said that? Okay. Okay. Alright. I've got something. Oh! Damn it. So do you want to start the Lucina? What it can do? Uh, ice spells, big ice spells, a plasma orb of energy, or like electricity, a heat ray, and basically an insta-kill attack. <clears throat> So the nobodies, oh, <laughs> so the nobodies have a dance that can skew the dimension, I, and when I, it does I, that, I just, it absorbs. I just, saw it. I just saw it. I know what you're saying. <laughs> it can absorb. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, get it demonic out. Demonic energy. Get it out. Go ahead, come on, Kyle. Go ahead, go ahead, come on. Just whip it out. I know what you're gonna say. Uh, so. Let's be honest, you've literally got a mage going up some against something that eats magic. Yeah, yeah, I know. Fuck Mangler. And then, it has a nice little mask that it puts on, yeah, like a I, member of Slipknot. You know what, I will, do you want to finish or do you want to give this one to you? I mean, it's up to you, really. <laughs> Fuck Mangler, man! Fuck that guy! <sighs> I, I cannot, I cannot in any way, shape, or form, argue for Lucicina winning based on the fucking drainage ability, because my most powerful attack requires a charge of time, and then the fucking dope fucking nobody's gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna fucking dance like a fucking idiot. I'm not mad, though. Why would you think I'm mad? No, of course not. No, of course not. Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, Kyle, I'll, I'll give you this one, because I can't, I can't debate this one at all. There's no fucking way that the fucking Lucicina's being the nobody. Wonderful. Piece of shit. I'm glad you saw it my way. Piece of fucking shit. Mm, you wound me. Alright. So, the second fight the third? is complete. Oh, the second the fight. The third fight is, um, you know what? Maybe we should just move on to the fourth fight. What's well, it? third fight is Kyle. Kyle. Beelzebub. Versus the Fury. 
Okay, so do you want to try and debate this, or do you just want to move on to the next one and say I win this one? Hang on. All right, he's doing it. All right, he, he's he's entering the battle. Hang on. He's entering Hang the battle. Um, okay, after reading the description, I, I don't particularly want to argue. <laughs> So do I get so do I get the fury victory then? I suppose you could. <laughs> I suppose you could. Okay, so Kyle concedes the bills above. Losing to the fucking fury. <laughs> oh. Okay, so it's two one. Who's the next one on the list? Uh, so the fourth fight <laughs> is Kyle. it's plasma versus proto Angelo. All right, let's do this. Alright, so, so what do you want to, how do you want to start this? Okay, so why don't, you let, why don't you let our wonderful viewers know what the fuck the Plasma does, and then we'll go from there. So, the Plasma has the ability to uh, basically take the form of its opponent and use its powers. And it, can all, and it cannot be harmed by any kind of lightning attack, as shown by it won't be hurt by Alistair's lightning attacks. Is that it? Yes. All right. So, uh, actually, hang on, Nick Kyle. So, completely off topic, but did we first meet in a debate? I feel like I debated you the first time we met. Uh, we met in the comments section of Ratchet and Clank versus Jack and Daxa, and you got proven horribly wrong. If you want to still do that debate, I am open to. Oh debate. yeah, I'm sure you fucking are. Okay, Proto Angelo. Uh, basically, they're invincible. Uh, according to no, they're not. according to Nico, I know you think they're invincible. They're smarter than your average Hell Beast, and they are also able to severely damage Nero. They can also amp their swords with dark demonic power. However. The amping does appear purple with electrical sparks around it, so you could take that one. It, it's not technically lightning, but I know you're probably going to take it as lightning anyways. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, the plasma will separate without warning. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fucking Proto-Angelo still fucking wins! How they separate is unknown. Even after, even after se separation... They have identical abilities. <laughs> Go ahead, say it, say it, motherfucker. Get that dick out of your mouth and continue. And the, only way, the only way to basically beat them is to defeat them all at the same time. I can actually argue for that, because Proto Angelo is stated to be smarter than your average Helby, so they'd be smarter than the actual fucking, um, what the fuck are they called, Plasmas? The only That's advantage the Plasma that has here is that it can copy the Proto Angelo's uh, abilities. Yes, on top of the fact that even while copied, it can still fire its own particle beam. It won't matter. The Proto Angelo can block it. It even says right. It, they even like block consistently throughout yes, the game. Yes, but it can, it can block one. But what about three? Uh, it can block three because I've seen these. I've seen the plasmas fight. They all attack from the front. Hey, we're going by the scenario that the Proto Angelo is fighting one in front of it. But the other two, or even the other. I want to argue that the Proto Angelo kills it in one hit. Stop me. How? How? It's, equal, it's equalized, and because it copies all of its abilities and its appearance, it would also copy its invincible, invincible armor. But it would not copy its intelligence, and that's going to make the difference in this fight. Because here's the thing. Would it die? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it would. Because so if it's unpredictable and unexplained how it splits itself, I can argue it never splits itself in the fight. The plasma are dumb, and they can fight on par with a DMC one Dante. Don't, don't, don't do, don't do that. We're equalizing because if you do that, I can argue. The no, I did. I, I only did that. I only did that because you mentioned that they can harm Nero. Well. Well, that's like the only thing it gives for like how strong it can hit. So I mean, like it's like a threat. To, like, well, that that, that that doesn't that doesn't matter unless okay. we're going to okay, okay. Lies. Fine, 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 whatever. Okay, I, I see your point. In terms of intelligence, they can match the combat ability of Dante. No, they can't. They can only match his moves. They don't match any of his skill or technique behind it. All they can match is his fucking. They, they literally so copy. Actually... They they literally copy. His they, techniques. Yes, they copy when his you, attacks, but not his, not his uh, tactical reasoning or anything. 
when you use E3, they literally do the volcano, not the volcano. The, yes, um... I, I'm not saying that they can't copy his moves or attacks. I'm saying they can't copy his intelligence. They can only copy his moves. I can argue the Portal Angelo to be able to determine the proper moves to win and can also predict his own attacks. The problem is, is that you have the possibility that the plasmas will just keep splitting to the point where he has to fight an entire room of them. But you have to prove the plasmas will even split to begin with. Because there are encounters where they don't split at all. And according there to you, are... you can't even prove how it splits or when it splits. So... They split without they split without warning. Yeah, so that they means there's split, no way to predict their splitting, which means that they're like they like the blood go gargoyles. They no, can split with the blood goyles split directly when you hit them with physical attacks. It's not the same thing. You that actually has something we can pr concretely prove how it splits. I'm using it for an example, not an exact. I know. Can like, I also take your fucking example and shove it up your ass because you can't confirm they would split. So I can just argue that con I can also argue that consistently, even if it's of course split, I can, of course I can because we're undering we're arguing under the assumption that we're, that they're going in going, and going to use all of their abilities in an equalized setup. Saying that they that you can't prove that they would split, they're not going to they're not going to continuously completely. they're not going to continuously split though. So let's say even if it's they, even if he's fighting would. two, no 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 he wouldn't because they don't do that in DMC one. They only do that like in certain conditions, and even then it's like inconsistent as hell. Doesn't matter. They yes, can still does. do it. No, they can do it, yes, but just because someone can do it doesn't mean they're going to. And even then, and they, let's say he splits in the two. I can just argue. I've that. had I've had I've had plasma attack me from the back. And I've had them I've had them shoot me even, with the Even then though, we also have to consider no, the fact it, it that it does, all your all your win con is is intelligence. I've literally got no no no. I've, you you I've, have potential cloning on your side, but I can argue. No, I've, got, I've got exact cloning. No and, no. And if there's no way. guarantee, it's going to clone the fight. Yes, it will. No, yes, it will. And, and where's your proof? Where's your statement saying it will clone itself when it's in a dangerous situation? Where's your statement? I don't have to have it when it's in a dangerous situation. It'll just separate without warning. Again again. That also means that they don't separate all the time, which is confirmed by gameplay. They don't always separate. You also, you you can't prove Even that the that, Proto Angelo is super smart to the point that it will figure out what the Plasma is doing. Uh, it doesn't have to. It just has to, well, okay, first off, of I, you're making it sound like the Plasmas are a super intelligent being. They're not. They're going to emit. No, you're, you're, making they, the, you're making it sound like that the Plasmas are fighting Nero. Dude, not the, the not Proto, Proto Angelo e. could directly predict Nero's moves and even V's moves so, if you go off the and provisions it, of V. It can literally fight and it can literally fight on par with DMC one Dante. Uh, DMC five Nero would be stronger than DMC one Dante, but that's not what we're doing here. That's that's no, so, AP. No, 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 no. The, the fucking Plasmas of, cannot of, fight yeah. on par with Dante. They just copy his moves. There's no, there's no, there's they, no evidence they, to say they skill. They what? Of course they can. We can scale. We can. We can basically say that they could do the exact same thing as like the Sin Scissors, that which have a description saying that, that they can deflect Dante's attacks. Now, if you have Sin Scissors who are smart enough to be able to deflect attacks, the Plasma are also going to be just as smart. Kyle, do they have a statement for their intelligence being uh, above average? Doesn't need to be. They, they, if they don't, then the, then the fucking Proto Angelo is smarter. Oh, and even if he brings out cool. two or three, I would still argue the Proto Angelo would win because it actually knows, it would know its own attacks and how to counter itself. Yes, but it wouldn't know the Plasma's attack with the Particle Beam shooting it in the back. The armor literally solves that problem. Look, Your it can. <laughs> No, if we take this argument to its inevitable conclusion, we can just argue that the plasma can just overwhelm them. Because ignoring gameplay mechanics and ignoring how you think the plasma work, if you <laughs> oh, were to take these abilities, I think the plasma works. I can no, gameplay, motherfucker. No, if you take away how you think the plasma works, it's inevitable conclusion. It could just make a room full of plasmas just to overwhelm the Proto Angelo. So no, the way this goes is this. The o your only win con is if it fucking multiplies itself to fucking infinity. It never does that, but even if it multiplies... Doesn't have to. Dude, even if all it has to do, full all, all, it has to, all, all it has to do is... All it has to do is basically, like, do it once, and it could have one of them hold the arms of the Prado Angelo. No, because that's not how they fight. They only fight based off the moves of the other person. These ones have watched WWE. What? Did you can't just say they watched WWE! <laughs> 
Okay, I'm, I'm gonna put it like this. I'm, I'm gonna offer you an olive branch. If the fucking thing clones itself consistently, it'll win. But if it doesn't, the Proto Angelo wins. So do you just want to chalk this up to a tie? We will chalk this up to a tie because we because if you if you had a statement confirming it would just fucking split itself in fights, then you would win. But since we don't have that, and I can argue for intelligence advantage, well, I'll just call. I'll just chalk it up to a tie if you're down. Chalk it up to a tie. Uh, you, can so, see, you can see the fire in his fucking heart right there on his profile picture as he fucking rages on the inside. So what are we? So what are we up to now? Still two one, right? Yeah, it's two one one. All right, what's the next one? <sighs> Shit. Okay. Um. <laughs> Is it gonna be two two one? <laughs> Don't hit right. me! Tell me the matchup. <laughs> um so it's gonna be um the frost versus the behemoth fuck all right how do you want to do this kyle are you familiar with which one the behemoth is yeah it's the big one in the bondage gear yep so uh how do you want to do this what temperatures can it sustain as far as I can tell, there's no direct statement for temperatures, but I believe you can fight it in the ice location where King Cerberus' ice is at. I think you fight it in the room just above. Well, I think the room's still frozen, though. It's not no. No, no, I don't mean above King Cerberus. I mean above when you drop down to where the save point is just before it. Even then, though, it seems that all demons are afraid of it because it's literally chained up to prevent it from killing from like eating other demons in general. According to Nico's description here, it's so absorbed with gluttony and power, it started cannibalizing its own demon kin. See how other demons have chained up this thing's mouth? It's good to know that even demons are afraid of becoming Chow. Mm. So. I could make so this would mean that this thing could probably kill any minor demon. Uh, in the I, I will, I, uh, I'll, I'll basically give it that it, it could probably one shot the frost, <laughs> but the thing, but the thing going in the frost's favor is the fact that it it can like reach absolute zero, like just from its body, not even like its attacks. Um, the fact that it has molecular manipulation when where it breaks itself up, and the fact that it can just like retreat and hide itself in an ice cocoon and then it'll just probably try and mid-range it and then like try and hit it <laughs> so it i've got i'm grasping <laughs> uh kyle my creature just goes underground and then just like oh my god i forgot it goes on the ground <laughs> all right so uh i think i've got this one unless like you want to try and argue the frost will freeze it completely? I mean, it, it, I mean, it, pro it probably could do like a limb or two, maybe. Well, well, okay. So why don't we get into some actual biology of the creature? Because seeming it's a reptile. No, it's a um, reptile. The Kyle, it literally it, it has tails. Kyle, it's a reptile. Kyle, that's not how that works. Kyle, it's a demon reptile. It's not how that works. I'm still gonna argue it's a reptile. Kyle, I'm sorry! <laughs> but that's just not going to work! Reptiles don't like the cold. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! It fought near King Cerberus' fucking room! No, it didn't. It fought two rooms above it. I would look it up right now, but like, I don't think it really matters for the most part. What are you gonna do? Freeze one of the tongues? Okay, it'll kill you with, it'll kill you with that same tongue. Okay, you've ripped its body in half. It's just gonna... It's gonna teleport away. No, and then it's gonna it only it. fucking teleports back when its arms injured. He's gonna be fucking ripped in two, and then he's gonna be eaten for lunch. Well, it could potentially kill it if it tries to touch it, because it could just freeze it. No, because you'd have to. Argue. When it tries, it'll choke. <laughs> it'll choke, Kyle. It's fucking cold. It doesn't last when it dies. What kind of recon is that? It's gonna choke on its food after it's killed it. I'm reaching, I'm trying, okay? <laughs> You're trying to go for another tie, Kyle! Look, it was either going to be the frost or it was going to be the assault. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Well, you know what, Kyle? I think if Mangler had to put you up against the Behemoth, you'd have a much better argument. So, uh, 2-2-1 two, two, then? Yeah. Okay. What's well, the last one? This will decide who wins the minor demon portion of the debate. Mm, Shadow versus Hell Judica. <laughs> I forgot! Fuck you, Mangler! Fuck you! No! no, I'm not giving it up yet! Give me the fucking... Give me the fucking description! I'm not giving up that easily! Fuck Mangler! What did I okay. walk into? Fuck you! Why? I it, thought... has evil, it has evil spells covering its body, thus allowing it to deflect all sword attacks. It's an evil spirit that takes the form of its own shadow, but they can also take on the form by using <laughs> spells on its body. Sword attacks? That doesn't say safe attacks! That would, that would be including all bladed attacks. No! It said sword! That stop lying! <laughs> oh, hold up a minute. If I may, as the judge, who was gone for like 40 oh, minutes. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on! Hang on! I actually have an argument here, but go ahead, Mangler! So, the specific description is in regards to uh, the shadow not being affected because it remembers the uh, the attacks of the ancient knights. If it's fighting ancient knights, we have to assume any kind of weaponry that's involved wouldn't just include, like, swords. No, because no, it would be, no. Mangler, this Mangler, this Mangler, a scythe is a fucking... Mangler, this, a would scythe. Include, this, would, this would include scythes, morning no, stars. No, no, a, a scythe is, is not a fucking weapon. It's a farming unless, tool. No ancient knights would actually, ever use a scythe. It's actually... Actually, actually, they, they did. The... Give me one European country and use a fucking scythe. Make my fucking day. Uh, the Japanese did. The Japanese used it for farming. Well, you've also had, you've also had times where the English have defended themselves from the, the French. The scythe is a European used... tool. It's a Japanese one. The scythe is close enough to a hoe. Oh, they're not using a hoe in combat. It doesn't matter. It's still a bladed weapon. No, it's not. And even then, and even then. <laughs> We could just argue that the shadow would just remember what the hell old Judica uses, no, and then no, you have to prove that it. one. Your description only gets you. No, again, you again, I, again I'm, I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. No, you're the not. Is, you are literally giving about. the fucking ancient knight weapons they never used. It doesn't look. It's just blade of weaponry in general. No, no, it's not. You are stretching so, it. Blade of weaponry. Them, Shut up! Really, you don't get to be involved here. Very, it would be very unfair to assume the knights were only using swords. Mangler, like they Mangler, were Mangler. Only I will look, look, look. I literally see the hell on Tora uses hatchets. I will give you hatchets. I'm not giving you the scythe. They didn't use, use scythes as weapons. Use, Why would they use, use hatchets as clavers? No, no. The official description says hatchets. Here, let me go and give it to you. Those are some big ass hatchets. Yeah, I know. Because they look, they look, the they look. They look nothing like hatchets. They look hey, like cleavers. Hey, hey, you know what? Hatchets weren't used in combat. You know, maybe, maybe the hatchets will work. <laughs> so, Zim. No. I'm going to... No. Never. <laughs> I'll resort to the Judica itself, you piece of shit. Wait. How? I thought we were doing the boss demons. Were we even like... We're doing minor not? demons first, Mangler. But unfortunately, the judge wasn't here, so we've already made it up. Currently, right now, the score is two two. So five. I'm just going. I'm. Wait, who's fighting? Who's going on what? Like, which ones have been done already? Uh, I'm just. Gonna, I'm just gonna post this to you. If if if, if you do. And if you... I think this one will. I think this will just end it right here. Let me see. Let's uh... put it in. L... Just put it in. Uh... Fuck it! Sorry, but wait, they, wait, 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 wait! Hang on, hang on, hang on. Does the Hell Judica have any fire-based attacks? It has a soul fire-based attack, right? No. No, it does not. Yes, it does. What it does? Is, no, what it does is it shoots a um a shock wave at you using um its scythe to scratch the ground. But and that attack then, is not part of the scythe. Even, even even then, even then, do you know what the shadow does? Do you know what the shadow is renowned for? Dodging and jumping. No, 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 no. I can argue the Judica would be able to fucking summon monsters to keep the shadow no. occupied and strike it from a distance. I can completely argue that. No, you can't. Yes, I can. And, 
It can't. This. It can also dodge block all the shadows attacks. No, Zim. What the Judica does is basically does a power wave. And if you want to say it's fire, fine, I'll give you that. But it basically does a power wave like Terry Bogard does, where it travels along the ground. That power wave is all I need to hurt the shadow. If you want to say that distracts him, fine. But the Hell Judica still can't pierce the shadow. It has no win cons. No, 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 no. I'm no. sorry. It, it does have a win con. Its win con is distracting it with the summons, breaking it down with the fucking actual shockwave, and then ganging up on that core and fucking beating the shit out of it with all three of them. So can you show me the, the description where it says it summons? Um, yeah, sure. Right here. Even then, the shadow will literally take two seconds to transform its body into a weapon. This guy can literally dodge and evade the shadow for the entirety of the encounter, and that is within character and also within description. Oh, fine. That, that's fine, but that doesn't stop. That that also means that the grunts are going to do nothing, and the Hell Judica will just be stuck. Well, so the problem Not here is like you guys are trying to put all bladed weaponry in there, so it's like I can't even argue. Oh, oh it is. is. Oh. What do you mean, you guys? Yeah, yeah I mean, you guys. Shut up! Do I think you're innocent in this? Yeah. Yeah. I am impartial. I show, I, I'm partial. I'm partial, my ass! Zim, I literally showed you something that said that. <laughs> I, that willing, the site, I am willing to give you. Site, I am willing a site to... came in. Came in at the 8th century I, I, AD. I, I, I see that. Wait, wait, wait. 8th century AD? I can argue that's not ancient knights. Of course it is. That's medieval. <laughs> what kind so of. This ancient. is coming. This is, is coming down to a no, technicality rather than reason. Oh, don't give a fuck to me about technicalities! You're trying to throw all bladed weapons in their sword! Kyle, Kyle, Kyle what do you define as ancient? That's it! Hang on. Hang on! Hang on! No! No! I'm gonna look up how old it takes to be ancient! Get out of here with this Beyonder arguments. <laughs> you play some for 24 hours. I have actual strategy and an actual win con and he's just got all bladed weapons are ineffective! No you have no win con. Range attack you can't avoid. Well, avoid yes, but range attack you can't like protect itself. Uh, um, the range attack is not a win con. The range attack is literally not. I have an avoid. actual. I have an actual strategy, Kyle. Kyle, let's. No, you don't. Kyle, I, have an, I, I just gave you the strategy. It's valid. And I've got my shadow, which can just walk through all. Fuck the your shadow. <laughs> so, main level what? <laughs> <laughs> I have a hard time understanding what's going on here. The so Mangler, I would, uh, as the judge, determine. <laughs> so, you must choose one of us. So, who won. one of us. Yeah. Um, so I understand that the Judica has like powerful ranged attacks. He does have like swipes, uh, teleports that are in character for him to use. But the shadow is also consistently shown in character to be an evasive fuck, as that is all he does is dodge. So how I see this fight going down is that the Judica will show up and will hey, probably throw out a swipe or two. Alright, welcome back, Mangler. Yes. <clears throat> so how I see this fight going down is that the Judica will show up We'll probably throw out like a swipe or two, and then we'll teleport away. We'll just start spamming like its summons, and the shadow the entire time is gonna do like uh, the needle pricks or the hedgehog attacks, where it basically turns its entire body into spikes, or just attempts to zone the Judica, and it will be evading the entire time. So, I think. More than likely, what will happen is that, like, the Judica will just attempt to throw bodies at the problem until it solves itself. Which would work if it wasn't the Shadow, because every moment that the Shadow's not dodging, it's turning its body into an active hitbox. So, like, every interaction that you would have with it would be the Shadow growing as big as, like, a weapon that's bigger than anything the Judica can summon. Unless we argue the Judica is like summoning fucking bosses. <laughs> um. No, no, no. That comes later. <laughs> that comes later when Urizen's like, what is it you desire? <laughs> um, so, even if we 
I think even if we take the ancient knights thing off the table, we just say it's exclusively like swords or whatever, and it's not scythes. I don't think that would really matter because, well, the shadow worst case scenario is gonna like if it gets damaged, it's gonna turn red, it's gonna get buffed, and then it's gonna suicide bomb and explode. So worst case scenario, it's probably going to turn it into a draw. And that's assuming it gets that far, because like I said, it, it's just going to keep, like... Just give, Kyle, just give Kyle the win, you piece of shit. We can't afford another draw. Otherwise, we're going to have to go fucking and poos over some fucking... Wait, wait, wait what, what, what do you mean another draw? I, I would say this is probably a win in, for the Shadow. It's it's a close all one, right, though. All right, fine. I stay. All right, fine. Wait, 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 wait. I need to know. I need to know how many of these have been done already, All of them. We're and which ones have been done. We're on now. Wait, 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 wait. I, I want to know. I demand. As the can judge. I have a six <laughs> next to my name, please. What? Can I have a six next to my name, please? Not yet, Kyle. Not yet. We'll tell you if No, one. that counts. That counts as one. Okay, We've fine, broken. Fine. That's that's the end of the minor demon debate. I won the minor demon debate. Can I give you a point five? So you technically didn't win by a majority. Wait. So who oh, won crap. the dead side I, versus? Dude, I won the majority. Fine. There's your six. Who won the death site mm. versus the Impusa? I, I sent you a nice little meme. I saw it. I already saw it. <laughs> okay, so let me let me tie it up for you. Uh, death site, uh, death site versus Impusa. Uh, Kyle won. Nobody versus Lucia. Fuck you, Mangler. Kyle won. Uh, I won. Beals versus Fury. We tied Plasma versus Proto, and I won Frost versus Behemoth. How the fuck does he? Shush, 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 shush. It's moving. It's moving on, time. You can watch the video later. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, that's right. We're recording. I All forgot. Right, so, Kyle, <laughs> so, next so would you, so Mangler, would you like me to play referee while you debate him against the uh the mo the generals? No, Kyle, you're not gonna give Mangler a chance to get points. He does. He'll do another matchup in the future if he wants. You're you're stuck. No, I win. Right? I win my points. I win my points in the bloody palace arena, kicking Zim's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, I need to buy the reboot so I can beat you in that one later. Dude, that'll be so much fun. Wait, actually, you gotta get it while the sale's, like, still up. The sale's gonna be up till the 5th of the it's month. Alright, you got some time, then. Alright, so, what's the next matchup? Uh, um, uh, so, I believe from the top, it's Griffin versus Cerberus at the oh, top. God damn it. Oh, you, you can do all these in whatever order you want. It really doesn't matter, just right, as long. Kyle, so, it's Griffin or... versus Cerberus, Nello versus... Uh, God damn it. Hey, I think I think you've got. Nella versus Malthus. Solid, Phantom versus any, Cavalier. Does, does he and versus to the floor? What? No, he's does not he going still... to be No, he's not going to change to the floor, you asshole! <laughs> <laughs> hey, sure, the, sure, 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 the bond he, he can be chained to the floor if Griffin gets a spike through his chest. <laughs> <laughs> you chained to the floor, but Griffin's wings are clipped. Go ahead, Kyle. Look, I'm done. All right. all right, look. All I'll say is, uh, Griffin's got an electric bird that can negate durability and can go through walls. So, range. Well, actually, you don't have range because uh, I actually have uh, fucking so Cerberus. This is not inside the cloth off spot, no, mind no, you. No, 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 it doesn't, it, 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 it doesn't even have to. Well, that actually works in my favor because the actual ice from fucking Cerberus extended far beyond his room into a massive, like, gaping hole. So I can just argue that Cerberus's ice, what it, like, let's, okay, so let's take the fight. Uh, are you okay with saying the fights in the Coliseum? Yes. Uh, I can just argue that Griffin could just freeze the entire area completely. We're gonna need to buff the size of the Coliseum no, in DMC5 no, style. No, 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 shush! You do not get to speak! No, 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 the I mean, judge I mean, is I mean, impartial! So you is realize too... Griffin can literally hang, just... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. As the judge, I do need to point out Cerberus is a little too big to fit in the Coliseum, so we're gonna make it about five times bigger. Alright, now, now you're good. Let's go. Is that the same size as the entirety of the <laughs> boss arena? Because uh, so here's the problem. Because like I'm, I'm arguing for because Cerberus freezes his entire boss arena and the entire area around him in the Clyfa, extending at least Kyle, give me meters. 
<laughs> what do you mean? He drops down in cutscene. I can't measure that. No, I know, but like it's still frozen way above beyond that point, though. So, so I can let's, legit if let's, we're, let's, say, let's say he drops down, and let's say it's about what would you say about ten second fall? I don't know, Kyle. There's a loading screen. My loading screens take a while. <laughs> All right. Well, let's assume let's assume ten seconds at the most. That'd be about two or three kilometers. Oh. Wait, hang on, hang on, stop, stop what you're 